Okay guys, we are back again with our printer basic series. Today we're going to look at the paper input unit or pickup assembly, depending on what printer you're working with. Again, different printers are going to have different terms for the same part. This one happens to be the multi-purpose tray. The idea is similar regardless of what tray we look at. This just happens to be the one I had laying around. The only part you see is going to be from here forward and there's going to be a tray. That's that main pickup roller and below is the separation pad. On this unit it's driven by the main gears on the printer. And if you look deep inside there is a solenoid that moves this arm around. Basically it pulls down on this end of it here and that releases this gear assembly which lets this roller rotate and that allows the unit to pick up paper from the tray that will be sitting here. So when there is when the tray is here and there is paper, the paper will come to rest at the face of this input and it will push this arm in. I painted it white again so you guys can see that this arm and this arm are all part of the pickup assembly, basically for different staging of the unit. This armature is to tell the machine if the door is open. This is to tell if it has paper. And if it pushes all the way, it tells it the paper has cleared the path and it's now inside the printer. It accomplishes this with these two white armatures. If you look, there's two. And then if you look, the yellow here is the optical sensor. Just like here, we have an optical sensor, which is this yellow part, and this white part is the arm. This particular arm lets you know that a page has made it to this set of rollers. So if we actuate it, you can see where the arm is. So it's telling us that paper has made it all the way up to this roller and is coming out of here. Also on this being as it's the front door of the unit, or a door of the unit, there's micro switches. And these micro switches are for safety. They're to let us know covers are open. So if you ever want to actuate a printer, you just got to look for where there's a button that gets pressed in and make that switch and the unit will run with the covers open. Again, that's dangerous, so you don't want to do it just for regular operation, but for diagnostic work, if you hold it, you'll be able to see parts moving around. As far as troubleshooting on something like this goes, again, you're, it's a flag issue like the fuser. You want to make sure that these flags are not stuck and that they return. If you take a note, there's a spring, and if I touch it, every one of these will return. It doesn't matter which orientation I hold it in, it continues to return because they're spring assisted. If you ever have a situation where you move it and it just kind of stays there or it comes back real slowly, something is wrong. Either the spring is missing, there's something in here holding it, or this assembly is somehow dirty. I've actually had these, ooh, I've actually had machines get so dusty that dust has accumulated in between here. So that this doesn't know if it's moved out of the way because dust has blocked the optics entirely. Then this is the basics. All of the printers use these kind of wiring harnesses. They're small, pin-setted. Typically when I remove these, I'll grab the wires as close to this as I can and I'll gently tug them out. As the connectors get bigger, it gets a little bit more difficult, but I always make sure, I always try to grab the connector and as much of the connector and wires I can get a grip on and then pull. Just basic tip there for you guys. But yeah, mostly, if you look, every connector is different. Even though these are two-wire, different pinouts. It's very rare to run across a printer where all the connectors are the same. So typically, you can get it back together, even if you didn't know where it went to. But it's always best practice to take a picture. As far as the rollers go inside your printer, rollers should have a texture. Oh, so we can get it up in this one. If you look, there's like a grainy texture. When these wear out, they'll become smooth. When they become smooth, they're no longer able to pick up the paper. Just like with, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it here. There's a pad, which we may or may not be able to see. There's a separation pad right there. And what that does is when this picks up a page, it rubs the other sheets here and it only slides one off. Kind of like when you take papers and you slide them against your fingers. Those parts wear out. They are a consumable item will need to be replaced at some point in the printer's life. I want to say some manufacturers rate these for a million pages. If you're using quality paper, you'll probably get that. If you're using cheap paper, you will not. As far as the gears and assemblies, 
you can actually order gear sets because these are nylon. As they rotate, they will actually wear out. They call that self-lubricating. It's a nice way of saying wearing out. Because these gears will rotate no matter what. When the motor's turning, when the main drive motor turns, these turn whether or not they need to be turning. And then they're engaged by either the clutches or the little armatures. Um, these rollers, pretty much permanent. They're just feed rollers. We don't worry about them. They don't ever really get that much abuse. They will get dirty and glazed, and sometimes you do have to clean them. As far as that goes on pickup units, there's not much else to talk about. There's, it's basically just that. There's sensors here to tell you when the page is in, tells you when the page is passed, make sure they move freely, make sure your, your uh, rubber parts have texture, make sure that your pads, your set pads have not become worn on the inside and have divots in them. They should be smooth. Make sure there's nothing in these paths, this slot. No um, label residue, labels, paper chads. I once, I believe, yeah, it was a pin cap was in one of these ones. And it was holding the paper up and we couldn't figure out why it was jamming. Because someone had got a pin cap way up in there. Basic stuff, broken parts, wear. Doesn't really matter where it's from, similar idea. They all have rollers, they all have some kind of separation pad. They all have sensors to tell when the page has passed through. These sensors... Pretty much regardless of what printer you buy or what printer you get, conceptually these are the same. There's some kind of plastic arm that moves some plastic arm that passes through an optical sensor. Uh, Lexmark sells optical sensors for some of their equipment. HP pretty much has you replace it with the component. Every vendor is going to be different. Again, it's a consult your service manual. Other than that, guys, that's all there is to cover on this part. It's really simple. It's basically just some rollers. And there's not even a motor in it. It's just some clutches and some rollers and some electrical connectors. Okay, you guys. And you can like, share, subscribe, and comment. And tell me the other things I've probably missed about this.